Several cars parked under a condo building caught fire in the San Fernando Valley today. Flames broke out on Burbank Boulevard west of Bel Air Avenue in Valley Village. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live there, and Jeff, investigators are calling this fire suspicious? Indeed they are, and right now you've got a cleanup crew right behind us. In the foreground, you'll see some water on the ground. In it is some of the fuel that leaked from the cars that were burned a little bit farther back. You can see there is a huge mess that is uh, in need of cleanup right now. You can see the carport where four cars were burned, and as we tilt our camera upward, you can see smoke damage at one, two, three floors. Look at the thick, dark smoke shooting out of this carport at a condo complex in Valley Village this afternoon. The fire sent people out of their homes. Some had to get out using a walker. The fire department says it got a call just before 1 p.m. and it took more than 20 minutes to knock it down. That's my parking spot. So. Anna Carino Miranda owns a unit here. She went to check on her tenant after she learned about what happened. I, I just really feel bad for these people. I, I know some of them. Two days earlier, a security camera captured this woman on a bicycle pulling up to a truck. She pulled out a few things from her bag and then tried to set the gas tank on fire. The flames grew quickly but then died out. That same morning, four other fires were deliberately set in North Hollywood where a number of cars and trees were burned. Back at the complex in Valley Village, the people in this condo didn't want to be interviewed, but the fire department says this case is suspicious, and it's unclear if it's connected to the other fires in the area this week. Well, I, I'm sort of in shock and would like to know how it happened, what happened. Um, you know, it's just, it's just hard to come home and see this. So the fire department tells us that two units were damaged and one of them is not livable. The good news is that no one was hurt. And at this point, there has been no arrest in any of the cases from earlier this week. For now, we'll send it back to you.